Hi, welcome to Norway. I'm living on site at Tromso Vilmark Centre, which is where I'm working as a husky dog sledding guide. I'm here in winter um, and it's going to be quite dark for most of the time that I'm here. Today I'm just going to take you outside and show you where I'm living and my backyard. To start with, obviously I'm going to put some clothes on, it's a little bit cold outside and it's actually snowing. Which is super exciting because it's been raining for about the last week. <laughs> This is my cabin you can see behind me. It's really nice and cozy and the walls are thick so we can't hear the dogs. My cabin window you can see. We've only seen a little bit of northern lights so far. Uh, hopefully we see a lot more. I'm going to take you out now and we'll walk through the kitchen and out into the dog yard. In the dog yard we have 300 Alaskan Huskies. They are so keen to jump on you hug you, kiss you, lick your face, everything, they're a lot of fun. So every day we take them out dog sledding and they'll do a few loops with tourists on the sleds. One of my jobs is to drive the sleds and put the dog teams together and then pull the dog teams back again at the end of the day and then also we look after the guests for the other two hours that they're here and we'll give them coffee cake uh, and a tour of the dog yard and the puppies as well. Words spoken, left me broken tonight. <laughs> what is this? Oh. I'm just showing the kitchen but the lens is fogged up. I'm going to go into the puppy cage now. Caldera is the mother and she's got a whole bunch of really cute, cute puppies. Check it out. So these puppies are just a few weeks old and they're still with their mother. Once they get to about five to eight months, they will start to train on the sleds and then eventually they'll move into the dog yard and become real sled dogs. Okay, so here at, uh, at Tromsø Vilmark Center, we don't sell any of the dogs, but when the dogs reach a certain age, they can be adopted, depending on if they're good runners anymore or not. So uh, Amazon, for example, uh, this uh, black and white boy, he's getting adopted soon. Uh, and hopefully, uh, they will choose to adopt his brother Neil as well, because these boys have always been a pair so it would be sad if the brothers were to leave each other and uh, we have two of their other brothers Reaver and Duna they're also getting adopted and it's nice for a lot of the dogs in the dog yard to when they reach a certain age where they're not up for running as much anymore they could have a more quiet life on the couch Step inside our lavu and this is a traditional building based on the Sami 
people's culture who lived up here in the north of Norway. And this is where we bring our guests to have coffee and cake and some lunch or dinner depending on what time of the day they're here. So this is an old wood building and you can see on the seats we've got seal skins. And the best part is these awesome traditional cups that are actually just made a couple of kilometers away from here and this is what we serve the drinks in. As you can see, it's already really dark. We haven't seen the sun for about two weeks at least. It's gonna only get darker. We've got one more month and before the shortest day. And on the shortest day, we'll probably get a little bit of twilight just at midday, and that will be all. So now I'm gonna show you some of the beauty of the area here around Tromsø and the dog sledding that we do. These videos were taken before the sunset. So that's all for today. While I'm in Norway, I will be doing a lot on social media. So if you haven't already, find me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. I will also be looking after the Vilmark Center Instagram one week out of every month. So if you want to see a lot of doggy pictures, follow that. And otherwise, until our next Vilmark Center in Norway encounter, thanks for watching.